you actually even give a tip and it's about um, active constructive responding. Cause you actually give like an example of how to communicate and respond it can be really easy to not engage with your child in a moment where you could have made that choice to engage. Yes, so let's talk yes. about active constructive responding and what that means. So what it is, is basically it comes from positive psychology and it's where if somebody comes to you and they have a capitalization, which means they come to you with some great news. Ah, I got a good grade on a test, right? It depends on how we respond to that capitalization that our connection can be strong. And so think about how, how often kids do this, right? They come home from school, look at this drawing I did. And then if you have an active and constructive response, you set, set aside the thing that you, you're doing and you look at it and you actually pay attention to what it is. And you, and you look at, you don't just say, oh, that's great or whatever. You, you look at the thing, you look how you did the tail of that horse. How did you do that? That must've taken you a long time. You praise the process that they went through to make this thing, like really excitedly right back at them. And it's amazing how well it helps you with your connection with your kids. You can't do this every time. There is no way humanly possible but you can improve the amount of times that you do this active constructive responding.